In this step-by-step -step video tutorial we will learn how to create stunning New Year's Toast photo slideshows in Filmora 13. Like this. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Solly Tutorials. It's almost time to ring in the new year, and what better way to celebrate than with a stunning photo slideshow to send to your loved ones. I'm talking sparkling transitions, heartwarming memories, and maybe even a dash of confetti. Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a show-stopping New Year's Toast slideshow using Filmora 13. No fancy editing skills needed, just follow along and get ready to impress. So for this New Year's Toast photo slideshows we import our photos into Filmora. Click on Filmora Media. Select a few photos from your computer. I also have a PNG picture in this folder called Photo Frame. I also select it. And also I select 6 photos to make this New Year's Toast photo slideshows. After selecting, click on Open button. You can see the preview of this PNG picture. In this PNG picture you can see that the girl is holding a photo frame in her hand. Its free download link is in the description. I add this PNG picture by dragging and dropping it on the timeline. I drag and drop this picture onto a track. So there will be an empty track below. In this track I drag and drop pictures. First we crop these pictures. Keep the crop aspect ratio 1 to 1. And crop all photos in this way. Now we resize it. So double click on the photo for that. Reduce its scale and set it to 33. Set its Y position to 202. And set its X position to minus 18. Keep its rotate at 3. I zoom the display screen. This will let us know whether the picture in our photo frame is set in the correct position or not. So you can see that our picture is perfectly set inside the photo frame. The next step of making this beautiful New Year's Toast photo slideshow is that we adjust the size and position of the rest of the pictures like this picture inside the photo frame. So for this we don't need to adjust the values again and again. Instead we will copy the values of the first picture and paste it to the rest of the pictures. So for this, I double click on the first picture in which we have adjusted the values. And here I'm going to add a keyframe to the scale. I copy this keyframe. And I paste this keyframe on the rest of the pictures. So you can see that I pasted values on this picture as well and we have adjusted its size, position and rotation values. Which made our New Year's Toast photo slideshows easy and save time too. Similarly I can paste it on all pictures at a time in one click apart from individual picture. So for this, I select the rest of the pictures, whose values need to be adjusted in the photo frame. Right click. And click paste keyframe. So in this way we adjusted the position of all the pictures very easily. To make this New Year's Toast photo slideshows, our next step is now I go to media. Here I create a new folder. I enter the name of this folder snapshot. After adjusting the scale and position of all the pictures, we will now take a snapshot of all the pictures on the timeline one by one. Below the preview player you will see snapshot button, click on it. Select PNG as the format of the snapshot.
After taking a snapshot of all six pictures, you can see that all the snapshots have been saved in our new folder. This will allow us to access our snapshot easily. After taking snapshots, we no longer need those pictures on our timeline. Delete it. Go to Media. From here, except for the photo frame PNG picture, I drag and drop all six pictures one by one on the timeline. The duration of this photo should be 5 seconds, like I have the duration of this photo also 5 seconds. And I crop this photo in 16 to 9 aspect ratio. And in the same way I drag and drop the remaining 5 photos onto the timeline, and crop them to 16 to 9 aspect ratio. After dragging and dropping all these photos onto the timeline, and cropping them. The next step to create this New Year's Toast photo slideshow is to go back to the snapshot folder. Here's the first photo on the timeline, we'll match it to the same photo in the snapshots. And then I'll drag and drop the same snapshot picture into the track above it. And in the same way I find the same picture for the rest of the pictures and add it to the track above it. After doing this, go to the Effects tab and click on it. Here inside the Effects tab, find the Grainy Blur effect. And drag and drop this effect on the photos of the bottom track on the timeline. Apply this Grainy Blur effect to all the photos in the track below. After applying the effects, now we apply some transitions on this New Year's Toast photo slideshows. So for that, go to Transitions tab and click on it. The first transition we're going to look for here is Flash. This transition has to be applied to half the pictures of the bottom track on the timeline e only 3 out of 6 pictures. For this you can simply drag and drop the transition between pictures. After applying the flash transition, another transition has to be searched. That transition is the fade. Apply this transition to the remaining three photos of the bottom track on the timeline. So let's go now to this PNG picture in which we have a photo frame that is held in the hand of a girl, animated. So for that, move the playhead to the start of the timeline. Within the image panel, go to the basic section. Add a keyframe of the transform tool here. For this, inside the transform tool, click on the small button at the top. Set the scale values in this keyframe to 60. Set the position X values to 500. And set the position Y values to minus 1000. Then scroll down a bit, and go to rotation. Also change the rotation values, and set it to minus 80. Now to add a second keyframe, move the playhead forward a bit. As you can see I place the playhead position for the second keyframe 22 frames away from the first keyframe. And here I add another transform keyframe. In this keyframe I set the scale values to 120. In this keyframe we will reset position X, and position Y. Click on the Restore icon with the position values to reset. Then scroll down and go to Rotation, and also restore the rotation values from here. Now we copy these two keyframes. For this, select both keyframes. When you select two or more keyframes, select them with a left click of the mouse, while holding down the Control key on your keyboard. Then right-click on any of these keyframes, and click Copy Keyframe. Move the playhead position slightly forward on this photo. And right-click here. And then click Paste Keyframe. So this will duplicate our same keyframes. Select these two pasted keyframes, 
and move them to the end of the photo. You can see that its animation is similar to the first two keyframes. We need to reverse the animation of these two keyframes. So reversing it is easier than you think. Simply swap the positions of these two keyframes. For this, we change these two keyframes by dragging and dropping them to each other's position. So now you can see that our animation has reversed in the end. That is, now our photo frame PNG image in this photo does something like this animation, as you can see. These are the tips and tricks that help a lot in making our New Year's Toast photo slideshows quickly. Now again move the playhead between these two sets of keyframes. Here we add another keyframe. Go to the transform tool. From here, set the rotation values in this keyframe to 10. And set the scale values to 110 in this keyframe. So we made some kind of animation, but it's not finished here. So let's now make this single photo animation of this slideshow realistic and smooth, so that it is much smoother and as we expect. So for that, double click on the picture. Click on the keyframe panel. Here in this panel you will see all the keyframes on the picture. In these keyframes I select the first three keyframes set. Here you will see a menu with an arrow in the center at the top of this panel. Click on it. Within that, you'll see a few options. For the first of these keyframes set, I select the Ease and Option. And similarly I select the set of keyframes in the end. Again I go to the same menu options. But this time I select the Ease Out option. Now you can see a preview of the animation of this photo. These tips and tricks play a very important role in our New Year's Toast photo slideshows. So let's now apply the same animation to all the rest of the pictures. So for this, we don't need to create any more animations. We copy the animation applied to the same picture. To copy, right-click on any keyframe. Then click on Select All Keyframes. After selecting the keyframes, right-click on a keyframe again. This time click on Copy Keyframe. So all the keyframes of our animation will be copied. After copying the keyframes, now right-click on the next picture. And then click on Paste Keyframe option. So our keyframes animation will be pasted. And you can see the preview of these keyframes animation on this next picture. You can paste this animation on top of all pictures in one click. So for that, select pictures. Right click on it. And then click on paste keyframe option. So keyframes will be added on all our pictures. So let's now add text on New Year's Toast photo slideshows. So for this, I add an empty video track. Then go to the title and click on it. Here in titles you will find a title called 3D Light Flow. Add this title to the empty track on the timeline. Match the duration of the title to the duration of the pictures. Now to edit this title, double click on this title. Go to the titles panel. From here write whatever you want to write in the title. For example I write, create stunning new years. Make the font size smaller, and set it to 65. So you can see that the position of this text is in the center of our screen, which will be hidden in the background of photo slideshows. So we change its position. For this, go to the video panel and click on it. From here set the X position of the text to minus 454. And set its Y position to minus 221. So our text position is now correct. But I want to rotate this text a little bit. So scroll down inside the transform tool. And from here rotate the text minus 10 degrees. So now our text with photo slideshow will look something like this. But another important thing that we have to apply is text animation. For this, go to the Titles panel. Click on the 3D Animation section here. Here you will see two sections for applying animation, one for an animation, and second to apply out animation. So from an animation we apply character shuffle in animation. And from the out animation I apply the zoom away and rotate Y animation, which is in the middle. So now our title settings are complete.
Let's now apply this 3D text to the rest of the pictures. So for that, I copy the 3D title on the timeline. And I apply this to all the other pictures as well. In these titles, you can edit as you wish, such as whatever you want to add to the text, color, font style, size, etc. So after applying 3D text in slideshows, let's now apply some delicious stickers in this New Year's Toast Photo Slideshows. So for that, go to the Stickers tab and click on it. The first sticker from here that I'm going to use in this New Year's Toast Photo Slideshows is Spring Blooms Pack Element 11. In this sticker you will see a butterfly. I drag and drop this butterfly sticker onto the timeline. I equate its duration according to the picture. So let's now track this butterfly with Photo Slideshow Animation. So the method is very simple. For this, right-click on the keyframes of the slideshow picture in the track below it. Then click on Select All Keyframes. Right-click the same keyframes again, and then click the Copy Keyframe option. So we'll have this keyframes animation copied. Next, right-click on the sticker above. And then click on Paste Keyframe option. So our photo slideshow animation will be pasted on our butterfly sticker, but it needs to be resized a bit. For this, double-click on the butterfly sticker and decrease the scale values in its middle three keyframes and set it to about 30. So now you can see how cute this sticker looks in our New Year's Toast photo slideshows. We need to apply this sticker on the next pictures as well. For that, I copy this butterfly sticker and I paste it on the rest of the pictures as well. To paste, you can press the shortcut Ctrl plus V from your keyboard. And likewise to make this New Year's Toast photo slideshows more beautiful, I would like to apply two more stickers. The next sticker I'm going to use is Butterfly Stickers Pack Element 07. I drag and drop this sticker on the timeline. So you can also see the preview of this sticker. Happily, in this sticker we don't need to adjust any scale or position. Simply copy it, and paste it to all pictures and all photo slideshows. So that more energy appears in our New Year's Toast photo slideshows. Both these stickers are animated, which you can see how positive and fresh mood our mind is in this New Year's Toast photo slideshows. Another great sticker that I search is Life Mood Vlog Element 34 sticker. I drag and drop this sticker. Here also the happy news is that in this animated sticker too we don't need to adjust any scale position etc. Copy this sticker too and paste and apply it to all the photo slideshows pictures on the timeline. You should apply this sticker because it will add a unique touch to our New Year's Toast photo slideshows. So after doing all that, our New Year's Toast photo slideshows are now only missing the music. So to fix this shortcoming, go to the audio tab and click on it. Here you will find music of all types and categories. You can listen to these music by playing. Download the music you like for your New Year's Toast photo slideshows. After downloading the music you like, drag and drop it onto the timeline. Split the excess music, and delete. Be sure to add fade in, and fade out to your music. So with this our New Year's Toast photo slideshows is ready. Now, for the icing on the cake. Filmora 13's got these amazing New Year's templates just waiting to take your slideshow to the next level. Instant sparkle, pre-built magic, and zero editing stress? Sign me up. Let's explore them together and see how they can make your toast truly shine. So search for New Year here, you will find all New Year templates. I think most of these templates are free. You can play and preview it before using and downloading it. To use any template, 
you can drag and drop it onto the timeline. To edit any template, you will see a replace material button in the center of the template on the timeline. Click on it, then a new window will open. Within it, you can replace your footage in various ways. In addition, you can edit the text and other settings within the template. After editing the template, click on the Save button. And you can enjoy this New Year ready-made templates. And there you have it, your very own New Year's Toast Masterpiece. Now go forth and share it with everyone you know, spread the holiday cheer, and maybe even win a few Best Slideshow Awards. Don't forget to leave a comment below with your finished product, and if you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Happy New Year, everyone!